normally, there is a form of music that we call chamber music. It means that it's played by a small number of instruments. Usually, it starts with a trio, quartet, quintet, sextet, and so on. And usually, if it's a trio, it can be a piano trio, which means there will be a piano, a violin, and a cello. Although, of course, you can have other kinds of trio combinations. It can be any combination, as long as there are three instruments, it's a trio. If it's a piano quartet, there's a piano, a violin, a viola, cello, four, and so on. So this one is, I call it a new genre. Because genre means a, a kind of classification of music. Because formerly in our country, we had never seen anything like this of a piano concerto being accompanied by a small group of instruments. It was always piano by a huge orchestra, or piano with second piano, which I did hundreds, over 500 concerts with my stories all over the country. So that was a, a very, very big thing we, I did with uh, my piano concertos. And finally, the third kind of uh, combination that I have done is this, what I call new genre. Soloists, piano concertos, playing with small number of instruments. So that closes our orchestra development program. So for an interlude, I would like to share with you a, an interview by Lisa Makua and Lisa Le. As you know, she is the yeah. prima ballerina, one of the best, if not the best, Filipina ballet dancer. But she's not just a ballet dancer, she's everything. She's a lot of things. She's a producer, show producer, and she has a radio and television show. She has uh, done outreach concerts. She has done also very, very, very much about bringing music to the general public everywhere. Plus, of course, she was an international artist because she trained in Russia. So she's one of our biggest personalities in the arts. She's a ballet dancer. And at this time, this was uh, 2010, so that's four years ago, I was one of the persons she interviewed. She had a weekly program interviewing artists for one hour over TV, several segments. And uh, I chose a segment here that uh, was talking. She had asked me a question about my concerts with Professor Reyes. So my answer here in that little segment somehow will explain some of the things and my views and feelings about my concerts with Professor Reyes. Now let's talk about your romantic piano con concerto journey tours with Maestro Reynaldo Reyes. Balita namin around 400 performances na daw ang nagawa ninyo all over the country. That is no mean feat. Um, ano po ang kasama sa programong ito? And of course, how can schools and organizations who are interested to um, invite you to perform um, contact you? Unang una, Lisa, it took me one year to decide whether kaya kung gawin yung orchestra development program yung mm -hmm. 1991 mm -hmm. because I thought that if I took it on I would need at least 10 years to develop uh, something worthwhile yes so I thought that the personal sacrifice from me would have to be not to play the piano for mm -hmm. 10 years mm -hmm. So after one year, I decided, okay, I'll do it. I won't play the piano myself for 10 years, except as directly related to my development of the youth. Mm -hmm. So, nung natapos itong uh, Sabuyot Symphony Orchestra sa 1995, nag-evolve ng Peace Philharmonic sa year 2000, mm -hmm. hindi ako nagpa-piano, yung six months bago matapos yung program, kinausap ko na yung maestro ko, si Maestro Reynaldo Reyes. Mm -hmm. Sinabi ko, almost 10 years na matatapos na itong project at mm -hmm. hindi ako nakapiano at talagang gusto kong maging pianist ulit. Mm -hmm. Pwede ba magkagawa tayo ng project at mm -hmm. gustong gusto ko kailangan um, nationwide, gusto kong outreach at gusto kong educational yung project natin. Mm -hmm. Two pianos tayo and I wanted to focus on the romantic piano concerto because that that's where I felt I was strongest in, where I had enough to start with, but there were enough concertos that I didn't know that I could grow yes. out too. Mm -hmm. 
So we started with that, and uh, I started contacting the deans of schools, and everyone, everywhere, friends in all the provinces outside, wherever I knew anybody, introduced the program, went on uh, personal visits, explained what it was, mm -hmm. and and told them what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so Mr. Reyes used to come every summer, summer of his, because he's based in the States mm -hmm. every June, July. Mm -hmm. And I requested him to come also two weeks in January, para magiging biannual yung tours namin. Mm -hmm. So yun ang nangyari. Isa pagkatapos ng yung orchestra, na launch na yung orchestra, yeah. uh -huh. umpisa kami agad ng January 2001, mm -hmm. yung biannual tours namin. Mm -hmm. At ganyan ang ginawa namin. Every January, two weeks, and then July, August, two months. To clock more than 400 performances, what do you do? Two performances, three performances in one day? Sometimes, uh -huh. yes. And um, my record was uh, we played seven different concertos in uh -huh. one day. But very often wow. we played four, five, six concertos. But uh, <laughs> in, uh, during the days where we had to travel far uh -huh. away, we went up to Banaue, Baguio, uh -huh. Ilocos, all over Luzon, Tacupan, uh -huh. Bicol, and all. When we needed travel time, uh -huh. then we would have one day travel time, and then we would have two concerts the next day, the next day travel time, another two concerts the next day. So it was combined like that. Logistically, I'm interested, when you travel, do you travel with the pianos? In Luzon, yes, we yes. did. Uh -huh. So we traveled with my two baby grands mm -hmm. most often, and we were like a circus, like a circus <laughs> caravan. <laughs> we had our own. We uh -huh. hired a truck and yeah. eight moving men. Mm -hmm. We had four vehicles. Mm -hmm. And um, Siyempre, kasama ni piano kasama tuner. Kasama tuner. <laughs> kailangan na yes. kailangan yun. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. But, uh, but um, touring locally, hindi ba kayo nahirapan maghanap ng venue na hindi titilaok ang manok or hindi you know, <laughs> hindi, hindi biglang aandar yung motorsiklo uh, Ay, to, to ruin the moment of yeah, the music? Kasama na yun, Lisa. Kasi uh -huh. ganun ang sitwasyon sa bayan natin. Mm -hmm. At marami ng mga concert namin, yung iba sa basketball court, mm -hmm. marami sa gyms, iba sa parks, mm -hmm. marami sa school auditoriums. Maganda yung sa school auditoriums kasi mm -hmm. medyo enclosed. Mm -hmm. But we took everything as it came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.